Investigator Alan Chalk's recovery of Cougar 91 provides a big break in the investigation. Uh-huh. Within days of the wreckage recovery, the helicopter's manufacturer, Sikorsky, has questions about the crash. That's right, the whole main gearbox. Sikorsky. All right. Yeah, good. Yeah, we're, we'll be expecting you. Great. They're coming? Yeah, and the FAA, they want to take a look at the whole main gearbox. It turns out Sikorsky and the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, are extremely interested in the same piece of wreckage as Cunningham. Investigators learned that eight months earlier, a Sikorsky S-92 in Australia got the same gearbox warning. Gearbox pressure. Gearbox pressure. But that S-92 reached land in less than seven minutes without incident. The circumstances are identical. Is there some flaw in the design of the main gearbox? So what went wrong? Right here, the oil filter bowl. The oil filter bowl filters the 11 gallons of oil circulating through the main gearbox. It's fastened to the gearbox with three studs. The investigators now focus on this key component. Here we go. Wow, two of the studs are gone. This discovery confirms what investigators saw in the FDR data, an extremely sudden loss of oil. They now have concrete evidence that oil leaked because of the broken studs. So what made the studs fail? What is it made out of? These ones? Titanium. Hmm. This looks like galling. Galling is a form of wear caused when two surfaces are moving against each other, particularly two different metals under pressure. Titanium is prone to galling, especially when in contact with steel. Sikorsky studied the Australian helicopter's broken studs and concluded the galling was caused by the steel nuts used to fasten them. Aaron, take a look at this. Alert to operators of the S-92, replace all titanium studs within a year or 1,200 flying hours. Six weeks before the Newfoundland crash, Sikorsky issued an advisory to swap the titanium studs for steel studs. They knew the studs could fail. Sikorsky said that the titanium studs would last at least a year. Cougar got the replacement parts, but maintenance didn't think that it was urgent enough to replace the studs immediately. The question now is why did Cougar delay replacing the studs? Oh, hell. Dispatch, we're ditching. 